Okay, a video. We're at Muscood Farms in Westchester in um, Katona. I haven't been here, even though I've lived in Westchester for God knows how long. And we've, we're walking a trail, and there's this um, Belcomda. It used to be called, now it's Iris Domestic, I think. Uh, candy leaves. They're blooming here, which means there must be fenced no deer. There's swallowtails on them. They're rather pretty. Um, these are the ones that we used to breed the candy lilies that come in all different colors. I'll try to focus in on a flower here. Uh, of course, the camera is not going to cooperate. There we go. Much better focus. You can see all the cute little spots in it. It's a species that's actually native to China, and I've never seen it going wild before because deer will eat it. Uh, but again, I think this area must be protected from deer because they raise animals here, like cows and chickens and whatnot. Um, but yeah, it's quite pretty looking, and there's a little stand of it here growing along the path. You can see the iris-like foliage. Uh, everything else about it, else about it is very un-iris-like, and it's making seed pods. So it must like this area here. I guess they mow it periodically. It's competing with uh, that invasive little euphorbia there that looks like little pine things on the grass here. And uh, I believe this origeron is native, this fleabane, but it always grows progressively wherever it is, getting the garden seeds everywhere. And there's some kind of conifer here with a Virginia creeper running up it, and the usual Queen Anne's lace and mullen from Europe. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of unexpected to find this thing growing wild. And they really are pretty looking at the flowers. Here's one with like a whole bunch of open flowers. They're really pretty. Yeah. Focus in on there and see all the beautiful spots. Yeah, so it's a nice uh, late July day at Muscat Farms. You can see like the little animals and exhibits and whatever. Uh, it's free and walk trails, which is what we're doing on this day before it gets too hot. And uh, actually it's cloudy, so that's good. Anyways, uh, thought I'd show these uh, garden flowers growing in a very ungardening place. Um, yeah, so uh, again, the candy lily ancestor, uh, the old uh, Balcomda chinensis that is now, I believe, Iris domestica.